G'day guys, how's it going? So I thought I'd do a quick video showing you guys what I do when it rains. So as you can see here, we have my blue tongue hutches. And now, because it's been raining really hard here and it's gonna be raining for more than a week, I've put a whole cover over the top here, but I've only just done that. So all the enclosures have still been getting smashed with rain. This one on the end here, it's actually open still, but it's all about how you design things. So the way I design these hutches is so that their back box where they go and sleep in is never going to get soaked with water because the rain will simply hit this roof, run off the back and these side bits here make it just run off the side. So nothing's ever going to get in there. And if we have a look, you can see it's all soaking wet on the front there. But up in here in the box, it's actually totally dry. So the animals are fully protected. And then now, with that extra protection over the top, it's not gonna get any other water coming through. But as you can see here, the yard's actually starting to flood where I live. It's kind of at a bit of a low level. And if it rains too hard for too long, uh, we've had some pretty bad floods here before. But, as we come up here to the uh, outdoor pits, you can see it's flooded on the outside here. It's a ton of water. But on the inside, especially as we come up towards the back, I've raised it up at the back there. So these animals are still out of the water. And then as well, they have their box hides, which we'll have a look in these other pits up here. You can see a bunch of water. But if we have a look, they have their box hides there, which are even further raised up. So it'll be the same thing as the hutches. The animals are totally dry and secure in there and they have no worries. Then we have the turtles as well. And being an aquatic animal, you can see there's a ton of water out the back there. But being an aquatic animal is actually pretty good for the water. It gives it a good clean out, some nice fresh water. And uh, the turtles are bloody tough. They just do their own little thing. So there's one there. I think that's the uh, female creft. Let's have a look. There she is. <laughs> Don't like to be held too much, those guys. But yeah, turtles are doing good. I'll have to do some more videos on them soon. But then as well, all these animals I have outdoors here, um, if things do get really bad and things start flooding, I have tubs inside, I have a rack system, I can put all the blue tongues in, as well as a few extra tubs that I can place the animals in in case things ever get to that point. Always have a backup option where you can put your animals if you ever need to. So that's how I deal with rain, guys. It's always good to be prepared and be ready for anything that's coming. Set things up in advance is the biggest thing and always have a backup option for the animals so you can get them out safely if things go really bad. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed and uh, have a good one.